Hey everyone, Cyber here. How's it going? With the reveal of Alternate World Diego as the last DLC character and the potential announcement of a second DLC pack in a few days, I figured this would now be a good time to give my thoughts as to what characters should be added to the game. Plus, you guys seem to like my JoJo videos. Before we get to the list, I just want to set some ground rules. Firstly, there will be no clone characters or characters that are in Eyes of Heaven. Secondly, these aren't ranked in any particular order, these are just characters I think would work well in a fighting game, and that would add some new mechanics. With my arbitrary rules out of the way, let's get on with the countdown. Coming in at number 10, we have Hot Pants and Her Stand Cream Starter. Hot Pants was a pretty important character in Steel Ball Run, and the ability to use her stand to manipulate her body definitely has potential for some interesting moves. For number 9 we have the 11 men. The 11 men has one of the most unique abilities in the series and there's definitely potential with this character. I think it would be cool if their GHA involved all 11 of them shooting the opponent firing squad style. It would also be interesting if you could control more than one of them at once. Leaving the Steel Ball Run universe now, we have number 8, Sports Max. Sports Max's ability to raise the dead has a lot of potential and I think he would make a great addition to the game. Number 7 on the list is two characters that are a package deal, Seco and Chocolata. I'm actually surprised these two aren't already in the game. Chocolata's mold and Seco's sinking ability makes for one of the strongest combos we've seen in JoJo. I would imagine these two having a character switching mechanic like with Prosecuto and Pecci. Seco and Chocolata would definitely be pretty strong if they were added. Next on the list at number 6 is D-I-S-C-O, Disco, however you pronounce it. Even though his fight with Gyro was pretty short, his grid ability would be a perfect fit for this game, and there's definitely a lot of potential here. Now for number 5, we have Lang Wrangler. His zero gravity ability would be a pretty cool mechanic and could create some interesting combat situations. On to number 4 with Ringo Rodigan. Having what is basically the reverse King Crimson, Ringo would definitely be a great addition to this game and would probably be difficult to beat. Moving on to number 3, with the last Steel Ball Run character on this list, we have Weka Pipo. I think it would be cool to have another Steel Ball user in this game, and maybe they could even incorporate Magenta Magenta as well. I'm not sure how they could incorporate the left side of Taxia, but maybe that could be his GHA. All in all, Weka Pipo would make a great addition to this game, and I hope they eventually add him. For number 2 we have Westwood, and this guy was practically made for fighting games. It would be cool if he had a survivor mechanic where he does more damage and takes less in return while the effect is active. Add in a stand that makes meteors fall on his enemies and it's easy to see just how much potential Westwood has and why they should add him to the game. Before we get to number 1, I just wanted to mention some characters that didn't quite make the cut but deserved an honorable mention. And now for number one, which is the character you probably all knew would be on this list. A character so broken they would always win by default. I'm of course talking about Carne and his stand Notorious B.I.G. What do you mean that's not the number one pick? Why would everyone ask for him and how would the devs be able to balance him? Sorry everyone, it seems someone tampered with my script. The real number one is Toru and his stand Wonder of You. I would be surprised if they don't eventually add him to the game since he's the main antagonist of Jojolian and the community won't shut up about him. The big question though is how would Calamity work? To be honest, I don't know, but remember that there are plenty of things in this game that aren't lore accurate, so I'm sure whatever the devs do for Calamity will be fine. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first time making a video like this, so let me know what you thought of it. 
Like the video if you agree with my rankings or leave a comment if I forgot a character you think should be added. Also, if this video does well, I might do more JoJo content in the future. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.